god. Today has been a pretty crap day so far, just more of the same, raining even more. So I've done nothing but sit here and cough and blow my nose pretty much. I also weighed myself and I'm down like eight or nine pounds from the last time that I weighed myself at the gym. So that's really fucking fun. Ugh, shit just grinds on you. I mean, God, I've said it a billion times, like, the physical stuff that goes along with CF, like, ports and needles and all that, it's whatever. Pain is momentary, it passes, but it's just the, the constant back and forth of as soon as something, like, as soon as you get going and, like, something starts, like, looking up, some shit happens and you are thrown right back to, like, stage one. Uh, doing my best to try to remain Mr. Positive, but... Today is 100% not one of those days. 2019 has just kind of started off as pure shit so far with getting sick and still being jobless and just trying to keep my mental state good enough to where I can keep this channel afloat is, oh god, it's just, it just wears on you, man. You know, I'm trying to stay as positive as I can, but it's just getting real. Shit's just getting old. Because it's like, it's pretty much the story of my life that every time I feel like the ground gets stable underneath me, the rug gets pulled out from under me. Like, that's been the story of my life since I was a kid. Like, literally some shit has always been happening, and it's still happening to this day. Like, I don't know if I was just like a really shit person in a past life or what, but... And I get it, like, you're a victim of your own circumstance, like, what are you doing to make it better, but goddamn, after a while, man, it's just kind of like, you just kind of get over it. Also been in a dispute with my insurance company over this stupid thing that I got called the Vibralung. Insurance sent a check to me, and I sent the check back to the company, and apparently they never received the check, so insurance has to send me another check, which still hasn't got here. And so now they're turning me into collections or whatever, and honestly, the whole device is now just more problems than it's worth. So that's just something else to add on top of it. You know, I found out not too long ago that my job pretty much kind of replaced me uh, without telling me. While I was working for them, they brought someone else on and told me that this person was just kind of added help for me. And actually, what they've done now, now that my contract ended, they just put them on and pretty much kind of told me, well, we'll, uh, we'll hire you part-time if we need you, but, so, you know, sayonara. Uh, even, though, cause even though they lied and told me that I was the main guy who was staffing, like, I was their go-to, and now it's just like, whatever, so, just kind of got to survive on the cash that I've saved up now, the cash that I was trying to save up for my van. So, currently, no, no job. No car. Well, I have I have a car. It's just currently not in working condition. I need to get it fixed. But it's still like a very old car, so it wouldn't be good for a commute. And I live like an hour outside of the city in this bumfuck redneck inbred town that really the only job that's here is retail and having to deal with these racist rednecks constantly. Which I don't know if I have the mental capacity uh, to do that or not. And then just now, like, getting sick, and you never know if, like, I'm going to get over this or if it's going to take a turn for the worst, and I may end up having to go in the, back in the hospital. You know, you just never know when you get sick with CF. And now losing weight, not able to go to the gym while I'm sick, it's just... I feel like since, like, the middle to end of last year, it's just been a snowball of just constant constant crap and there is no let up and I'm kind of just about at my breaking point with it all like <sighs> sitting here making a vlog talking to this camera about this shit obviously isn't gonna make anything better but I don't know it makes me feel better it gives me somebody to talk to since I don't really have many people that I know that live around here everybody Everybody else that I know that I'm like really good friends with are pretty much out west, so don't really have anybody here. 
So yeah, sorry that this vlog is starting very, uh, very depressing and very self-pitying. I really hate to be that mopey, whiny asshole, but Jesus Christ, it's just kind of like, when am I ever, like, going to catch, like, a solid break? Like, it's like I get really good, like, it's almost like my life is as bipolar as my mind is because... I'll get like really good and if everything will be going fantastic, great up to here and then all of a sudden it's just boom, plummets and I'm just like, life is just shit which makes of course my mental state go all to hell and just sitting in the house constantly trapped in my own head is just all sorts of fun and of course like, like I covered in my last vlog too, I can't really set up anything with a psychiatrist or whatever until I get my insurance until <laughs> I get my uh, insurance straightened out for the year so yeah and again I was supposed to I was supposed to go try to get Ember today too but I felt like such shit and it really it's hard for me to drive at night whenever it's raining really heavy because my eyes have really bad glare so I'm gonna get him tomorrow it's supposed to be sunny maybe when the Sun comes out it'll brighten my spirits or something Give me some sort of pick me up, but I don't know. I'm kind of at this point where I don't even. I'm kind of at the point where I just kind of don't care anymore. Like, in 28 and a half years, I have been through a shitload. I have moved more times than I can count. Been through a ton of crap. And it's just kind of like, I have nothing to show for it. I'm sleeping on a couch. And. Just kind of have to find a way to dig myself out of this somehow some way like I said even though I don't want to I'm probably gonna have to go take some shit job making some bullshit minimum wage and pretty much just reset everything and oh fuck me I'm definitely if that happens I definitely have to go get on some sort of antidepressant or something to keep to keep me out of my head so I can just kind of autopilot the shit because if I think about it I'm just gonna say fuck it and be done with everything oh man it's just it's just one of those really really dark days and like I said I know like talking to the camera really doesn't technically help me like progress any further than I am now making this vlog but I don't know it just gets me it keeps me out of my head and gives me something to do gets me to put these thoughts out loud instead of just keeping them in my head to dwell on and like snowball and make it worse and worse which is what my brain likes to do with everything so yeah that's kind of uh it's kind of how today is going still super sick and just blah my my chest feels about as good as my mind does today. Just full of shit and uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to look back on this one if everything gets better again. Just be like, oh look, pulled myself I pulled myself out of it. I'm back to being good. But right now there's just a lot of obstacles in the way that I really don't have the means to get over currently but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to find a way somehow some way maybe I'll just start selling my body go to like go to like the country club sell myself to the uh, the old rich women who hate their husbands so, so almost there I'm almost there but I'll be alright I always am I'm gonna get off here though and do some more treatments cuz when you're sick you gotta bump up the treatments like crazy so yeah I'm gonna jump off here do that I don't know maybe play some Assassin's Creed try to just get my head I don't know these are these are the times that I miss like Brooke and I guess I don't know if being in a relationship but just just having someone because she was all she was always there to like to talk to even if even if she technically wasn't there because she was, you know, doing her own thing and our relationship was really just a sham. She, there was still someone there to, like, keep my mind good and 
talk to and I mean until that I learned of everything that was going on but I don't know it just sucks just kind of in a just a dark lonely place right now and sorry for the uh sorry for the depressing depressing vlog I guess but hey that's uh that's real life not every day is rainbows and sunshine like a lot of people try to portray you know you follow a lot of these vloggers or Instagram people and that's all they put is just rainbow and butterfly bullshit and hippie slogans and all that life ain't like that people you got really bad days and today's one of them but I'll pull through I always do thank you guys for watching hopefully I didn't put a damper on your day too much uh, Follow me on social media. The links are right here. Subscribe to the channel if you want. I promise if this is your first video watching, uh, not all of the vlogs are this depressing. If you want to donate to the PayPal to help keep the channel going, uh, the link's in the description. Uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys uh, tomorrow. Love you guys. Later.